This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the Ascension of the Lord. Our celebrant is Father Nick Mancini, pastor of Sacred Heart of Mary Church in Harrisburg. I'm Barb Zorn from Holy Family Church in Poland and St. Columba Cathedral. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Connie and Jim Corda. Hail the day that sees him rise, alleluia, to his throne above the skies, alleluia. Christ the Lamb for sinners given, alleluia. Now ascends the In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sinfulness, and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in the heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. 
but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who had been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord, amid trumpet blasts, sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God God mounts mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For the King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God God mounts mounts his throne to to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. (coughs) Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the Mm. unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Speak to God. Alleluia, alleluia. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. 
They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. So we come to this beautiful day of the Ascension, when the Lord Jesus is taken up into heaven. He gives the great command to his apostles to go forth and proclaim the good news, to bring peace and salvation to God's children, to bring that peace and harmony into the glory of their lives. The sick will be healed. Those that come to be baptized will receive the fullness of the love of Christ and will be prepared one day to ascend to the glory of the heaven with the Lord and Master. Jesus has prepared a place for us and wants us to be with him. And the glory of the ascension reminds us that Jesus at the right hand of the Father now gives us that unity and love and that he awaits us with all the goodness of his mercy and fullness of redemption. Let us then on this Ascension Sunday come back to the Lord with all our heart to find Jesus once again. And if you've been away for a while, come home and find peace. For the Lord awaits he awaits us all. He has prepared a place for us. He is all forgiving, loving, and merciful. Let us then find that consolation in the love of our ascended Lord, who takes his place at God's right hand. Least we forget, let us say a little prayer for our mothers today and wish them well on this Mother's Day, that Mary, our Heavenly Mother, will be with them to guard, guide, and protect them. For we love them, for God gave them to us. And if your mother is deceased, say a prayer for her. For every day is Mother's Day. Let us never forget the joy of our mother's love. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord Jesus is taken up into heaven and takes his place at the Father's right hand. 
Let us pray for the needs of the church, for all the sick, the poor, the lonely, and the hungry. And we add a special prayer for our beloved bishop, Bishop George Murray, for healing and strength. For Pope Francis and all the bishops, that they may faithfully lead us in proclaiming the gospel to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders of all nations around the globe, that they may work together on issues that cross national boundaries, especially those that affect the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who day by day put into practice the mission of building up the body of Christ, that they may be blessed in their work, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all mothers and for all those who have played the role of a mother, that they may know the value of what they do and may be blessed in their role. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That nourished by this Holy Eucharist, we may go forth strengthened in our mission to live according to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the health and welfare of Bishop Murray, let us ask the Lord to send healing upon him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and merciful Lord, hear our prayers. May we always be your children, united around you, who are our Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread which we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine which we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, in honor of the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis I, our Pope, George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her loving spouse, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with Saint Paul, blessed James Albrioni, Saint Rita, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Be joyful, Mary, heavenly queen. Be joyful, Mary. Your grief is changed to joy serene. Alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary. The sun you bore by heaven's grace, be joyful, Mary. Did by his death our guilty race, Alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O 